back in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where the basketball was almost as beautiful as the scenery here in the Caribbean. Rich Hollenberg, Lafonso Ellis, in Roberto Clemente Coliseum. I'll put you on the spot, partner. What was the one thing that stood out to you on day one of these quarterfinals over anything else? Outside of the beach? Yes, outside of the beach. <laughs> Just the unbelievable intensity that teams are playing with. Miami, of course, came in. Maybe a lot of people didn't know who they were, but my goodness, with the way they played the game today, with energy and effort, they were very focused, set the tempo for what we were going to see for the rest of the tournament. 105 points for the Canes. We'll show you highlights of them in just a moment. But first, here's a quick recap of what happened in the first four quarterfinals. Temple, in a back-and-forth contest with the Minnesota Golden Gophers, ended up on top by five. 22nd-ranked Butler looked incredibly impressive, putting up 93 points on the Missouri Valley Conference's Missouri State Bears. Miami, we just mentioned then, Sheldon McClellan leading the way with 18. And we just got done with 16th-ranked Utah, and I guess you would say they survived against the very tough game Texas Tech Red Raiders club. Now let's take a look at the highlights. First for Temple. It was the inside presence of Jalen Bonds who led the American in rebounds last year, and he got eight boards to go along with 19 points today. In a re recent game that I've seen, and they weren't really involved in the offense, but they were intentional about getting Jalen Bond involved in the offense. He responded well. Everybody went nuts when Butler put up 144 points in their first game. They almost hit the century mark in this one, led by Tyler Lewis, who was shooting well. He had nine points, but he also had ten dimes. His ability to get into the creases, the vision to find guys spectacular this afternoon. With all due respect to the Bulldogs, I think the Miami Hurricanes were the most impressive team in the quarterfinal round. Their ability to move the basketball around, find the open shooter. How about nine threes made today? They average 11 in the game, and they are outstanding in transition. They shot 57% from the field and 53% from three-point range. And then in the nightcap, the Utah Utes ended up winning it by double digits, but they got a big test. And Jakob Pertl fought foul trouble and the interior defense of the Red Raiders and put up almost a double up. His ability to keep basketballs alive was phenomenal. But when they needed big buckets, they looked at that guy 15 to be able to get to the basket and get some big buckets. Lorenzo was outstanding tonight. Lorenzo Bottom led the way for the Utes with 20 points. Pirtle had 15 points and nine boards. So, your semifinals are set from San Juan. Temple and Butler at 1 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2 Friday, followed by Miami and 16th-ranked Utah. That game could be seen at 7 Eastern on ESPNU. You are caught up. From the Puerto Rico tip-off, we say so long from San Juan. For Fonz, I'm Rich.